All right guys, this is how you're gonna get your internet or cable to find out if you have any signal. If you're hooking up your modem and it's like you got the XB3 one that's got all the lights going straight up and down on it. Now you got the XB6, the one with the one light on it. Uh, those, the XB3, the three main lights, the top one will be solid. That's your power. The other two will flash continuously. If they've been doing this for 20, 30 minutes, you may not have any signal. If the XB6 has just been flashing for 20, 30 minutes, you may not have any signal either. So what you want to do is you want to check this wire right here is my service drop wire. And the way I know that is because it runs up the house all the way out to the pole outside. That's where your signal's coming in at. This is the wire right here. This one right here is the wire that goes down and around and down into my house to where my modem is located. If I didn't know which wire it was, I would hook up one wire straight to this one. And I would take my modem in there, I would set it up, I would give it about 10 minutes and see if those three lights, see if those lights go solid. If they go solid, there's signal. If there's not, you'll grab the other wire, you'll disconnect this one with a 7 16th inch wrench, disconnect it, and you'll connect this one to it. Do not disconnect the one that goes to the pole. That's your main signal. So you disconnect this one, and you hook this one up. Okay? And if that didn't work, you'd also have to try it on a... Well, if it didn't have any signal on that outlet, you could leave it there and just keep trying them. Run back in, wait about 10 minutes. If it don't go solid, come back out. Disconnect it and do the next one. If it still don't work, disconnect, do the next one. Finally, one of them's gonna work. The only way it's not gonna work is if you're on a satellite dish splitter. These are the dish splitters. <clears throat> so if you're on one of these things, it will not work. So if you have dish and you're getting Comcast or Cox or Charter or anything like that, and you're wanting to have your dish for your TV and one of the other providers for your internet. It's very possible. But their dish splitters will look like this one. This is Direct TV. <clears throat> it's AT&T, Direct TV, whatever you may think, whatever it is in your area. Um, dish network looks a little bit different. So they're all different, but normal cable providers will not work through a dish splitter. So you can use the same process I just showed you. You'll just have to disconnect from this one and use each individual wire until you figure out which one goes to your modem. The, the cable, <clears throat> as far as like Comcast or Cox or any of the other big companies like the Charter, uh, Spectrum, they all come from the pole and they're all set up pretty much the same way. Now, I told you earlier that the uh, the wire will be coming in from the pole. Well, it's not always the case. If you live in a subdivision, it could very easily be coming in from the outside, like from underground. If that's the case, it'll be running straight up the wall, like straight up, straight up into the bottom of the box, the enclosure box. And it should be an orange wire. Typically, is orange. If it's older, it could be black. But yeah, that's the one you're, that's going to have your signal on it. And if it doesn't have signal on it, after you tried all those steps I just mentioned, you can actually just walk out to the road, pop the box open, and see if there's a wire disconnected. If there is, and there's an empty place to screw it into, by all means, screw it into that empty spot and see if you can get your cable to work. But that's your best option. That's how you get things to work if it doesn't work. That's general troubleshooting 101 with the cable doctor here. Um, please like and subscribe and watch these videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day.